Hello and welcome. My name is Alan. I will be your host today for this episode of Portland, Oregon Bridges. Today we're looking at Cedar Crossing Bridge, which takes Deerdorf Road over Johnson Creek. While it is a covered bridge and shows up on lists of covered bridges, it is not a true covered bridge according to the Oregon Department of Transportation because it does not have a timber truss support. Ironically, the bridge that it replaced was a timber truss support bridge. Uh, the bridge is maintained by the Portland Bureau of Transportation and is, is a, of a deck girder design, meaning that it uses wooden beams, also known as girders, to support the roadway. The bridge is 60 feet in length, which is 18 meters, and 29 feet in width, which is 8.8 .8 meters. It supports bi-directional vehicular traffic and a singular pedestrian walkway. Johnson Creek is a 25-mile tributary of the Willamette River and part of the drainage basin of the Columbia River. Johnson Creek catchment is 54 square acres of mostly urban land, and the creek provides habitat for salmon and other migrating fish. The creek was named for William Johnson, who in 1846 built a water-powered sawmill along the creek. The bridge has five large windows on each side and a pedestrian walkway that is five feet in width and the roadway is 24 feet in width. The interior of the bridge is finished in knotty pine. I have no idea where they came up with cedar crossing. From Interstate 205, you take the Foster Road exit heading eastbound to Southeast 134th Avenue uh, which is a right turn and takes you southbound. Uh, 134th Avenue becomes Deerdorf Road shortly after the bridge. The bridge cost $93,450 and the related road and abutment work added an additional $74,800 for a total of $168,250. The former Multnomah County Executive Dan Clark had lobbied the county for quite a while to build a covered structure prior to this being built, he wanted a bridge to be over a river or stream where the foliage was thick and turned to shades of yellow and orange in the autumn and that children can peer out the windows and see the water below. The bridge was opened on January of 1982 and Dan Clark was the MC for the event. It was a particularly cold and wet day and Dan Clark said, if you ever wonder why they put covers on bridges, this weather will tell you. The bridge originally had a commemorative plaque. That plaque apparently has been taken by vandals or souvenir hunters. After the initial ribbon cutting, a parade of vintage cars, horse-drawn buggies, and wagons opened the bridge to the public. Deerdorf Road was named after the Deerdorf family, who in 1841 claimed hundreds of acres of donation land and the, in the area that's now known as Happy Valley. Christian and Matilda Deerdorf came to by wagon train to Oregon in 1850. The bridge received some significant preventive maintenance in 2015 due to deteriorations in asphalt and on the deck surface. They put in a waterproof membrane to prevent the water from penetrating the structure and the road was resurfaced. At the time that route was uh, popular with school buses so they scheduled the work for winter break from December 21st to December 31st so that it wouldn't interfere with the uh, school the, the, the school buses. There is a nice little area to park your vehicle just after the bridge so you can get out and admire this beautiful structure. Thank you for listening and have a good day.